Well, happy to be joined once again here by Sig Meidel on Mass and All Access, Orioles Assistant GM Analytics. Sig, today wanted to talk about some hitting metrics. We've talked about war. We have talked about OPS and OPS Plus is kind of a more overarching hitting metric, but wanted to talk about barrel percentage and hard hit rate today. Start with barrel percentage. It seems pretty self-explanatory, just how many times you get in the barrel of the bat on yeah. the ball. Yeah, like wouldn't it be great to have a, a metric to see who hits the ball hard, who sends this ball on a ride far and long a lot of the time. And yeah. so that's simply it. Regardless of whether it turned out to be a home or a double or an out, uh, that's what barrel percentage tries to do. So they sort of defined uh, a range given the launch angle and the exit velocity. And when a player hits it, I think it's 98 miles per hour between 26 and 30 degrees. And then the range changes as you hit it further. This is the definition of barrel. And so you could see how often a player sent the ball on a ride. Now, I think about half of those turn out to be the homers, turn out to be home runs, but the other half are these well-struck, exciting balls that may or may not go out and the outfielder may or may not run it down. So barrel percentage and, and hard hit rate kind of coinciding there with you know measuring very similar things. Yeah. When you are evaluating a player, what are you looking at with barrel percentage and hard hit rate? What does that tell you about a player? Yeah, so much of our life is spent uh, concerned with what a player is going to do tonight, next year. So we're in the world of projection. So often very useful information on what a player is going to do tomorrow is what he's done yesterday. And a home run is wonderful evidence that you're good at this sport. Uh, but you know what? So are barrels. Barrels right. that were tracked down by the center fielder 400 feet from the plate is also good evidence. So instead of constraining yourself to just use the, the accounting style counting stats of baseball, you could get more in-depth and by looking at the launch angles and exit velos and perhaps quantifying this bucket of balls as, as uh, barrels, you could uh, squeeze a little bit more predictive ability out of the numbers. Yeah, so even when batting average on base percentage, slugging percentage isn't going to tell you when a hitter you know, hits a ball on the nose just right at the center fielder, maybe he makes a nice play in the gap, it seems like barrel percentage hard hit rate are things that are able to fill in those gaps a little bit and give you more of a well-rounded picture about a player. Yeah, undoubtedly. Before there was the ball tracking, we we were stuck sort of relying on, on the counting stats or a subjective description of whether this was a liner or a fly ball. Um, but now we know to two decimal points, the launch angle and exit velocity of everything. And how much has... You know, the, the advancement in technology helped with things like barrel percentage and hard hit rate. We know kind of the growth of stat cast and things like that, but how big of a part has that played? Yeah, it's gigantic. I mean, before we were just relying on, on uh, human observation for many of these things, but now we know everything. We know where on the bat uh, the ball was struck, how close to the end of the bat, how off how much off it was from the center. We know the bat speed. Um, and then, of course, we know the, all the specifics of the flight of the ball. So what, what we just witnessed in the past, now we could quantify nearly completely. Yeah, hard to kind of eyeball the difference between a 110 exit velo and a 112 exit yeah, velo. But that. yeah, well, Sigma Dell, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Happy to be here.